What's up? Welcome to another video of making the game Wraithbinder. It's your friendly friend Wizafu. And check it out. Characters now have boobs and long hair. This is so great. Obviously for male characters, um, there won't be any boobs. And you don't have to have long hair. These are all optional things. But this allows me to animate a character once and have them be female, male, genderless, whatever the heck you want, right? So this is super fun, right? And check out how this looks in the game. Um, I'm really happy with this. This is so awesome. These compiled models, like I, I can create characters so much easier than I, I could create so many more characters than I ever could have before. Um, and check it out, like, their character is turned now too, that's kind of neat, right? So if he's like, he does a turn, if I just press the up arrow, like I'm press the, uh, like, press the down arrow from here, and he turns around, same thing if you're moving around, running, really helps the character look more fluid and natural. Um, so I'm really happy with how this, uh, this whole like model compilation is working out, where um, everything is, is like animated here in Blender and then um, created using uh, well first created using Mo Magic of Voxel to create individual pieces of the body and then animated in Blender and then coded up so it compiles all those models at runtime by translating and rotating each piece of a person's body or armor or whatever and then running it in the game so um, I've got this uh, idle animation completely finished now. Now that the characters have boobs <laughs> and um, and long hair, there's like every kind of option I could possibly think of for this game at this point. So um, I'm really excited to have like the the whole format, the process for this all done now. And uh, now it's just basically going and creating all the rest of the animations. So this sword swinging animation is the next one I'm going to be working on. So right now I've only got the idle and the run. And you can see how smooth and fluid these animations look right now. Like they're um, they're just really beautiful to me. I really like them how they're turning out. And um, so the sword, it will be the next one to make that all fluid and smooth. And um, these are exported at 30 frames per second right now just to keep the kind of uh, the models down to a certain reasonable size. But I believe um, I'm probably going to up that to 60 frames a second once I get this whole system optimized. I could go as high as 100 frames a second. Really, it's unlimited. Um, but there's a lot of animations left to do, like the sword, um, like the shield. Where's the shield? There it is. That's not the shield. Which one's the shield? Oh, there it is. Right? The shield animation is really simple. And then walking around with the shield enabled will be something. Um, walking around with the sword charged up. That will be another animation. Charging up the sword itself. Oh, that's got to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.